is a tree that has clearly been a point of contention, probably not just this last time in February, but probably for a while. Did you plant the tree near the property line near their house, or was it there when you bought the house? No, Your Honor. I planted it, I would say, 23 feet, roughly, uh, from the wall that Tw adjoins their side. 23 feet? Yes. Show me somewhere in the room where 23 feet is. Uh, I'll say about from here to that pillar. Okay. That's at least 20 feet. So when you originally planted it, you planted it 20 feet into your yard. Correct. And then it started to grow. Yes, ma'am. And it grew very big. And it grew so that some of the branches hung over onto the defendant's property. And according to the defendants, the leaves from the tree, is it an evergreen or a deciduous tree? Does it lose its leaves or does it keep its leaves? It loses its leaves. And the leaves were going into their swimming pool. You have a swimming pool? Yes. And making a mess and or clogging the drain. Now, have Mr. and Mrs. Casimiro ever talked to you about it? No, they have not, Your Honor. Did they ever request an opportunity to talk to you about it? No, Your Honor, they did not. Have they ever trimmed the tree before? Not to my knowledge. Yes, so that is. could be. Yes, it Your is. Honor, they did mention that uh, at one point in this situation that they had called my wife and got prior consent. Okay, just a second. I don't care about consent. They don't need your consent or your wife's consent to cut down tree that is hanging over their property. I just want to know if they were being neighborly first and made a phone call. And the answer would be yes. They no. called your wife. No, did they did pause? not. Did you at any time when you started to have trouble with this tree call Mr. Moorhead's home? Senior, my mom, because we work, my mom is the one who keep in touch the wife. Well, I don't know that. Yes. I don't know that at all. Yes. Because your mother isn't here. Yes. Your Honor, but we don't need to ask his permission. I didn't ask you that, whether you needed to ask his permission. I've already okay. said you don't need his permission, yes. but you've been neighbors for a quarter of a century. That would be a nice thing to do before you prune the tree. Okay, so this thing happened on February 23rd of this year. Yes. Correct. According to you, the gardener, that would be Mr. Sanchez. Correct. At the direction of Mr. and Mrs. Casimiro, trim the tree. And the issue is, did they trim the tree appropriately or not? You're going to show me pictures. I'm going to make that judgment. And then we're going to get to... because when you claim that you complained about it, Mr. Sanchez assaulted you. Correct. No. Just, shh, I don't want you to say anything. Mr. Sanchez is going to tell me, right? Right. Good. Okay, so now I'd like to see all the pictures of the tree, both before and after. Where do you live? Palmdale. Is most of this tree dead? No, not at all. No, no, no. Uh, the branches on the ground is what they cut. I'm looking at the tree as it's standing. I'm looking at the tree, what's left of it. It looks dead. Well, it looks dead because they butchered it. No, 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 no. It looks dead because it's dead. Everything else around it is green, except this, what's standing here. Yeah, I think you'd find that that's the lighting. It's what? The lighting. It's not dead. 